Hi, I'm Steph from Hopkist and I'm shooting a video today to talk about these little uh, gift packs I was asked to make. I uh, was asked to make uh, some note cards with envelopes to give out as a gift. So these would make great teacher gifts or hostess gifts or whatnot. And it's a little pretty packaging, little envelope, and inside are six three by three cards with um, coordinating envelopes. So I'm going to show you how to make the gift packages and these are the different card designs that I came up with using the Touches of Texture stamp set. I love 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 this stamp set. Great for collage stamping. So uh, let's see you get 15 stamps. So there's all of those and then I that comes in two cases but I put them all into one. So there you go. So that's what I used. Uh, the paper is uh, retired paper that I had just because I needed to have um, a lot of it to make this project. But if you looked at any of Stampin' Up's uh, designer series paper, it's all double sided. And if you pick a pack that you like, then uh, you know that all the colors were co will coordinate. Um, and as far as the colors go for the stamping, I just pulled the colors from the designer series paper. So these are all the different uh, cards that I came up with, the designs, just using the touches of texture and then a couple of little embellishments uh, here and there. So they're just blank note cards and then I had um, these envelopes. They're I think three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And I just covered the back flap with some of the coordinating paper as well. So if you want to make um, one of these packs to hold the 3x3 three three paper, you're going to start with an 8x8 eight eight sheet of double-sided paper. Uh, don't mind these little nicks. Uh, you'll see why I did that in a moment. So if you still have the diagonal score plate um, with the... The scoreboard here from Stampin' Up! You can go ahead and use that and you're gonna butt your paper up into the corner and you're going to score here at the two and a half mark and you're gonna score diagonally and then you're going to turn it over and you're going to butt it up against there and you're gonna score again diagonally in the corner on that side. So you're gonna get these two score marks running down the center. If you don't have the diagonal plate, you can do this on the trimmer um, with the scoring function as well. To do that, the measurements change slightly. You're going to take a corner and you're going to uh, match it up at the top and the bottom at two and a quarter. And then you're going to score and you're going to flip it around and you're going to do the same and you're going to Match your points here at two and a quarter inches and you're going to score again. Okay, so once you have that, then you can go ahead and fold. And this is where my trim marks come into play because I had to cut off just a, the corner bit so that it aligns properly. Okay, so that's what you have there. Then you're going to go ahead and bring your scoreboard back again and there's no measurement here I just um, lined my paper up and I just created a score line there and that's just I like the, um, the pre-scored mark just to fold those flaps backwards sorry I'm shaking the camera okay so just to get those folded back so that's what you have there and then this is going to be the front so it's nice when you have double sided paper so that you can see the pattern on both sides. Now I'm going to move this over a little bit. Now to get the scores in the middle you're not going to butt it up right in the corner you're going to move it over about an eighth of an inch here and then it's centered and you have this um, cut piece here which the middle of that is going to be, you're going to score down at four inches 
and then half an inch on either side. So half an inch and move over half an inch. So you're going to score then at three and a half, four, and four and a half. And if you look, if I pull it closer here, it's basically, I mean, this isn't cut properly here, but <laughs> basically you're scoring right in the middle and then it, it usually does line up here with this, this point, if that makes sense. Okay. So you have that. So then we're going to add some fast fuse adhesive. So I open it up here and I'm just going to add a little bit of fast fuse down the middle. And then I'm going to go, you don't want to go all the way up here because you don't want the adhesive to land there, but just in the bottom corner. And that's just to hold it in place. Okay. And you're going to stick that down. Then you flip it over and you stick down these front flaps. So again, a little bit of fast fuse. You can use any adhesive that you like. I just like fast fuse because it holds everything in place and it's very quick and easy to put things together. Okay. So now uh, we're going to fold on these score lines. So you have, let's see if we can get it there. You have three score lines. So the middle score line, you're going to take that and you're going to fold your pockets backwards and if you lined everything up properly the ends here are going to meet up. Now you can use a bone folder to get your folds nice and crisp. I just don't like using a bone folder. That's just my preference. Then you have these and you're going to flip them inwards. So you have one and then you have your last score line here and you're also going to flip that. And again these are going to match up and you're going to crease. Again, if you want to use your bone folder, you can just give it a nice crisp edge. And that's basically it. So you have your pocket, so you open it up. You're going to take your, I did three envelopes on one side and those get tucked in there and three envelopes on the other side. Push those in there. Excuse my arm. Okay, and then, let's see, how did I do this? Take three note cards, and you tuck those in. And the other three note cards on the other side. Give everything a nice little push. Close it up. And then you get some ribbon if you want to. I mean, it holds clothes on its own. I just think the ribbon is a nice little touch. Um, I leave a little tail on the end and I wrap it around once. Kind of cross over and tuck it underneath. Now I just happened to have this ribbon pre-cut. I think it was from another project that I did. I had leftovers and it just happened to be the right size. <laughs> Don't you love when that happens? And you tie a little bow. There you go. And you have a nice little gift packaging. Then I take my ribbon scissors. Who else has ribbon scissors? All right, there you go. And then you have all these little packages, quick and easy. And what a nice gift this would be for somebody. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Love to hear your feedback. Thank you, bye.